Okay, so um, the last time I made a video, I had just injured this hand, and in fact, I don't have the brace on it because the brace is soaking wet from work today. Um, but I had injured my hand, and I had also slammed my neck into a shelving unit. I tripped at work, and it was kind of wow. Um, and I had om literally almost broken my neck. I mean, quite literally, almost broken my neck, and. Uh, it was a pretty bad fall, but I said in the last video I wasn't sure if I was going to paint or not. I said I didn't think I was going to paint or I didn't think I was going to paint, but I couldn't help it. As a friend said to me once, you're, you're a compulsory artist, you can't stop. And so I managed to angle uh, the paint and, uh, I'm sorry, I have a kitty looking up at me, so I'm down there bedding. Grand kitty. Um, uh, that's not a euphemism, there really is a cat down here. Anyway, a uh, four-legged one. I found a way to angle the canvas and my paints so that I wasn't lifting my arm too much and I was looking down and, and painting um, so that my neck was stable and blah, blah. My arm was okay. My hand was okay. And I could only hold a brush for so long, but I did it anyway. So that was a big fat lie. And But they're done, and those are now headed to Miami in a couple of days. A friend's going to drive these two and a number of other paintings down for me to Blue Egg. Um, so that's underway. We're finally getting some new work down there. I'm also sending down some hand-drawn illustrations with layers of aerosol on top, silkscreen illustrations that have been framed with layers of aerosol on top. And I think we're going to try something new in that direction so we have less expensive work up for sale. Uh, and uh, what is it? Oh, uh, Jay asked me to take all my, the images I could and, and uh, send him all the images I could so we could start doing gicle. Kitty, don't stop that. Kitty's um, hitting the, the contraption that's holding my iPad that's filming. So if it starts shaking, you know why. It's but, uh, Puppet is just loving the frame. So anyway, um... Uh, Jay is going to start doing giclés with some of my images. Uh, we're going to try different forms of printing besides the paper print, the inexpensive paper prints we've been doing. We're going to try other forms of printing and, and, and explore new ways of promoting work and you know, offering new things. Now, uh, there's, a, there's something happened yesterday and uh, it, it really it, it irritated me to no end. As an artist um, who's online, I get I get a lot of emails from people and people telling me oh they'll they'll they can raise my stats and they can raise my uh, my um, visual or whatever they can they can grow my audience online and I just delete them and I ignore it. I also get requests for um, interviews from time to time and I do those. Um, I've interviewed with online magazines several times. Usually they're people that I know or we've developed a relationship. Uh, but, you know, sometimes I get, I hear from people I don't know. And I got the most annoying email yesterday uh, from a, a kind of an online magazine. They didn't present themselves as a, such, but it was a, an online magazine uh, that is supposed to be out of Miami, and they're not. Uh, they're, I found out that they're based in Clifton, New Jersey. <laughs> But they're selling themselves as an online mag an online magazine in Miami. Um, it's nice and glossy. It, it looks really fancy. But if you're really looking at it, you're not seeing ads, uh, supportive ads like Rolex or you know, even a Toyota. You know, even Pete's Coffee or the guy around the corner. Um, so they gave off a lot of clues that something wasn't right, but the email actually said to me that they were looking, um, what was it? They were contacting me, the Beck Lane Art team, to uh, ask if we could recommend artists th th um, that they could interview. Like they were looking, they, you know, they're really expanding in the Miami market or something, or I don't remember, but the part that got me was, they didn't say we want to interview you, we're contacting you to see if you can recommend people to be interviewed. And like my ego and my temper goes through the roof on stuff like this. Because I tap dance as fast as I can every day, all day. 
you know, to get to get my career off the ground, to, to keep a roof over my head, to keep Bugsy fed and give him chewies and keep the kitties happy. Oh my god, puppet, you crack me up. Um, speaking of kitties, puppet cracks me up. Anyway, um, there were certain cute clues that just really irritated me to no end. And so then I wrote them back a smarmy, you know, email saying, um, uh, something like, something about, well, something about not wanting to interview me and how ridiculous it is that they would contact me. I don't remember what I wrote. I was on pain pills because of the fall, but I know I was irate, and I thought I deleted it before I sent it, but I didn't. I sent it, and they wrote back that, you know, they're, they're all incensed and insulted, that I was insulted, that they didn't want to interview me. I mean, really, people ask if they want to interview me, and that's nice, but asking me to you know, can you tell us about other people who might be more interesting than you? It's a little annoying. So anyway, I, I did some research on these, and I sent it off to friends, and I was laughing about it because it was just so ridiculous and horrible. And uh, one of my friends uh, emailed them and said, you should interview Beck Lane. Apparently he did this after I wrote them the snotty message. Uh, so... <laughs> Not sure how comfortable our next conversation is going to be because they weren't happy about that. But um, anyway, you know, I'm mentioning this because as artists, a lot of times we are asked to do things for free all the time. We're asked to give away free artwork. We're asked to demonstrate for free. We're asked to free, free, free ourselves. And oh, this will bring you a great audience. You know, this will be really good publicity for you. This will be great exposure. I've heard it all, and it's all crap. It is crap with a capital C-R-A-P-P-P-P. -P -P. Crap. Not once... I, I give things away because I want to and because I'm compelled to. I don't, I, I don't listen to a complete stranger say, you know you need to give me information because I don't feel like doing my homework and can you give us stuff for free. That doesn't really go over well with me anymore. Um, so I re anyway, I re researched uh, this magazine and found out that I really wasn't off the mark in thinking they're ridiculous and, and insulting. Uh, I found out this is very easy to do. I'm, I'm mentioning this because we fall into this trap of just trying to grab onto any fish, fish hook available, any, any hook that's available. This, these people get 20 views a day, which is pretty, you know, it's okay. We have, I have more followers than they do, actually. Um, I found out they have, I don't have, okay. I, overall, I have more followers than they do. They have about 800 more than me, or 700 more than me on Instagram. Um, they have about 700 more than me on Twitter. If they're a magazine and they're doing well, they should have thousands and thousands of people. But they're in Clifton, New Jersey. They're writing about Miami and apparently uh, Los Angeles from Clifton, New Jersey. Um, and they're, what they're trying to do is get people to do all the work for them. They don't credit for photographs, which I have an issue with. They, they don't have major... Um, uh, advertising, which means they don't really have major audience. But like I said, they're not Google. They they have um, uh, yeah. They're there's they're located in Clifton, New Jersey. Sorry, uh, they have this is so easy to find out. They have zero organic um, uh, traffic, meaning if you type in things to do in Miami, these people won't show up. There there's something. There's like something like 46 million other sites that will show up before these people show up in your Google search or Chrome or Firefox or whatever you use. They were all listed. Um, they won't show up in Twitter if you things to do in Miami, um, Art Miami, you know, all the hashtags that we use. It didn't take a lot to find it. Um, it was the name of the magazine and online traffic and number of sites popped up. There were a lot of things that popped up that made me go, oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Um, so basically they have about 20, they have 20 friends a day um, who look at three pages and each visit and then they leave. They, that means they read three articles and then they go. Um, so they're, they're, they're 
people within this circle. Now, there's a lot of thinking that, you know, any advertising is good advertising, but as an artist, as an artist who has to deal with this stuff and has been doing online work for a while, I know they're making their monies from somewhere. So it's got to be from the restaurants they've conned into um, reviewing, or not even reviewing, having the restaurants write about themselves, it looks like. Um, the They have to be having the artists and musicians uh, who look like they've been interviewed by an actual person write the interview themselves, because I've done it and I recognize it now. Um, it's just, I mention all this because as artists we look for ways to promote ourselves. And then there's ways that are kind of embarrassing and a big fat waste of time. And this was one of them. So if you're approached by an online um, magazine, yes you can say, I have been interviewed by Bob's magazine out of Bob's basement. But really what, is it, what does it get you? You know, if no one, literally no one, is finding them on a Google search or a Chrome search or Firefox search or whatever server you use. So it's something to consider when you're getting into online promotion. And you know, when you're really digging your heels in like I have over the past, you know, five, six years, is it really is it really worth your time? I just had an article written about me through Fredericksburg Literary Arts, um, Art and Review. Okay, Fredericksburg Literary Art Review. And to me, you know, that was a real pleasure and an honor. Um, I happened to know the editor. I met her at a show at an event I did. So I was happy to work with her. Um, I sent her the photographs because now I'm in Florida. She's in Virginia. I emailed her the, the um, my work, pictures of my work. Uh, she wrote, she interviewed me. We were on the phone for probably an hour and a half. Um, she wrote the article. She sent it to me for review. I made some corrections and they printed it up. That is the type of thing I, I appreciate doing more than, um, well, not that I was even invited to, to, be, in, to be interviewed by this magazine. Um, but if I were inter invited to be interviewed for this magazine, I'd need to make sure that there is some type of audience, and that they're not just sending me a questionnaire I fill out, which once again I have done. Um, I just mention it so that other people who watch these videos, you know, trying to figure out how to be an artist, or how to push themselves somewhat in a professional manner, um, they know what to look for, you know, where the scam is, where the con is, where the big fat waste of time is. I do it. As I said, once I googled traffic search for this, or traffic, online traffic for this one particular magazine, I found out I do better on my own without them. I pull in bigger numbers than these people. So, kind of, what's the point? Really, what, what's, what's the point? Because in many of these magazines, the online magazines, they want you to pay to be in it. And that's really the point for them. So there is no upside for the artist or the musician involved. Anyway, it is very late, and before I get into one of my babble fests again, I think I'm going to go to bed. I took some muscle relaxants so my hand would stop hurting that I just rubbed on my face and my neck. It's time to go beddy by and get ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow. I am having Chinese food dinner for Thanksgiving. I love that. I love the idea of it. I'm going to meet some friends. I hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving tomorrow. And uh, maybe I'll see you online because I'm producing a lot of work, even with my little injuries. Anyway, happy Thanksgiving, and uh, that's it. Let's buy my glasses, push the finish press button, and off we go. Boink! Ciao!